The point charge Q in this problem has a value of minus 3 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs, minus 3 microcoulombs. It sits at the center of a spherical cavity with a radius of 6.5 centimeters. And the orange insulator has a charge density of 7.35 times 10 to the fourth coulombs per cubic meter. We're asked to find the electric field a distance little r equals 9.5 centimeters from the point charge. We'll do this using Gauss's law, which tells us that E dot dA over a closed surface equals the charge enclosed by that surface divided by epsilon naught. We can see from the spherical symmetry in this problem that the Gaussian surface should be a sphere of radius little r centered on the charge Q. I'll indicate that with this r. And then we notice that this electric field is everywhere parallel to the surface normal, so that E dot dA becomes E times dA. That electric field magnitude is constant on the Gaussian surface, so we can drag it out of the integral, winding up with the electric field magnitude times the surface area of the sphere. That's equal to the enclosed charge over epsilon naught, which we can solve for the magnitude of the electric field. It equals Q enclosed over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. Again, from symmetry, we know that field is in the radial or r hat direction. We can now calculate the electric field if we know the enclosed charge. That charge comes from two contributions, the point charge Q at the center and the charge in the insulator. That is the charge in the hashed region I'll show here. Equal to the charge density times the hatched volume. That's rho times 4 thirds pi, little r cubed minus big r cubed. We know all of these values, so we can substitute them and calculate, finding that there is 1.79 microcoulombs of charge in the hatched orange area. When we combine this with the minus 3 microcoulombs in the point charge, we find that the total charge enclosed by our Gaussian surface is minus 1.21 microcoulombs. Now we can substitute this along with the value of little r, which is 9.5 times 10 to the minus 2 meters, and the constant epsilon naught, to find that the electric field has a magnitude of 1.20 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb, and the net charge is negative, so this electric field is directed in the negative r hat direction.